Hey guys, hey beautiful artists. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Art With You. Today we're going to do a surrealism collage. This is a collage is where you take any paper, any materials, and you put them together onto one piece. Today we're going to do that using a magazine face and your creativity and imagination. This can be done by any age group from little to adult. So do it together and see where it goes. The materials you need for this assignment is glue, paper, a cutout face from a magazine, pencil, sharpie, and something to color with. The first step is to glue your face down somewhere on your page. Remember, don't put it too high or too low. Um, you kind of want it somewhere in the middle where you don't have to draw something really big. Like if I put my face too high, I'm going to have to draw a gigantic neck or body to fill in the space. If you bring it down lower, then you can add lots of hair or something really creative at the top. So think about that carefully when you place it down and before you glue. So now that I have glued it down, you don't want to draw on the wet magazine face because it will rip or create a hole. So make sure that you don't draw on the face, but you add with pencil details around the face. Think big and crazy and exciting. Remember, surrealism is dreamlike art, so you can make it how creative you want. Think about motion. Think about what you're trying to create here. I'm going to add some really awesome hair. I'm gonna do some like wavy. I'm gonna draw lightly with pencil first. Now, if you want to, you can add Sharpie. I always do because I know that it's permanent, and when I add paint or if I add something wet, it won't come off. Plus, I really like how bold and beautiful my lines are when I do add Sharpie. So go ahead, decide if you're gonna add Sharpie, and if you do, make sure you erase that, those pencil marks. This is a great time to check your work. Make sure you have everything you wanted to add. You don't have any extra pencil marks. And then you can go back in and if it's great, go ahead and add some thick and thin lines. I always wanna make sure I do that because then it makes it even more bold and beautiful. So after checking my work, I realized that I should add some thick and thin lines on my page. So I'm going and adding some of those thick lines by tracing over my Sharpie and just making it even bigger because it makes it more bold and beautiful. Now it's time to add color. Don't forget to spicy color. Um, at school, I teach my students to spicy by making sure they have a dark outline around the Sharpie and a lighter color on the inside. You can always determine which colors to use by looking at the color wheel. So I'm going to start with orange and I'm going to do marker and then I'm going to go in with colored pencil later and add some shading and some techniques. I add some yellow and look at me going out there with that orange around the outside. Go ahead and add some color. Finish up your color. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video, give it a like.